Hi, myself uh, Dr. Shamsundar Renedla, uh, Consultant Spine Surgeon at Germantown Hospitals, Atapur. Today, I am going to brief uh, on uh, most common problem what we face in spine practice uh, called spine infections. What is spine infection? Usually, uh, we get infections in the lungs, kidneys, everywhere, other parts of the body, like in spine also, sometimes in vertebral bone or intervertebral disc or sometimes surrounding structures, paraspinal structures can get infection. It's called spine infection. What is the most common type of spine infection? We get uh, multiple types of infections in the spine like uh, tuberculosis infection, bacterial infection, fungal infection, sometimes viral infections. But the most common type is uh, tuberculosis infection, very commonly will see in spine practice. Who will get these spine infections? Spine infections usually will occur in people who has comorbidities like liver and kidney issues and immunocompromisation state like cancer and uh, immunocompromised diseases like HIV and AIDS and people who has uh, poor health conditions and people who live in very poor ventilation and lighting houses with crowded uh, uh, multiple people staying in small houses. These are the most common group of people who will get infections. Other than these people, sometimes children and old age people and uh, sometimes in pregnancy and delivery, recent delivery people also can get frequent infections in the spine. What is the presentation? Usually people who is having an infection in the spine, they will present with severe unbearable pain in the neck or mid back and low back, most commonly in the mid back area. When they turn in the bed, they will complain a lot of pain. Sometimes very neglected cases, people can present with severe radiating pain to the legs and sometimes they can present with paralysis in the legs and urine motion control problems also. But most common presentation is severe back pain which is going down to the legs. How to diagnose this problem? Usually most of the patients are uh, diagnosed uh, by clinical history and most commonly what we do is X-ray and MRI. MRI is the best investigation to diagnose infection in the spine. Why MRI is important? MRI uh, very important investigation in uh, diagnosing spine related issues. Uh, we can find out multiple lesions. Sometimes TB can affect multiple bones in the body. So it will re reveal all the hidden lesions which are there in the spine. And sometimes it can get, uh, TB can affect the surrounding structures of the spine like paraspinal muscles, uh, discs, adjacent vertebras, all those things, details are very important in treating the spine uh, uh, TB. So these are all details will be revealed in the spine. Sometimes very important uh, thing is compression on the nerve. So how much compression is there on the nerve, is there any epidural abscess, all these things details uh, will be revealed in the MRI and these details are very important when you plan treatment in spinal tuberculosis or spine infections. Jamal Tan, Jamal Tan, Jamal Tan.